What's up, everybody? What's going on? So how is everybody doing today? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let's, uh, let's do something uh, this morning. So welcome, everybody. You're happy to be here, princess. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, they fine. That's good. That's good. All right. So welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, let's start inviting people. I need you to invite people. Let's invite more people to come and join so that we can get to the bottom of today's topic and break it down into pieces. Let me throw this out there real quick. I want to throw it out there real quick. All right. <laughs> For you guys to see and enjoy it. All right. Okay. So yesterday I came online to share some few things about single mothers, uh, you know, and stuff. I got, I got like, 2,000 phone calls. I got like 2,000 phone calls. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people are going through so much, uh, especially the single mothers, they're going through a lot. So uh, for the past few days now, I've been praying for them. Uh, I've been talking to them, encouraging them, standing with them, standing by them. And one thing I know is that one day is coming when every one of us will actually gather together to celebrate them. To celebrate them. This is the guy that used to snap you at ShopRite Ibado. Ah, how are you? All right. And to my snap me, Ibado. <laughs> Very soon we're going to see Ibado. I'm coming to Ibado. I love Ibado long. Ibadan is like, it's just heaven. Ibadan is heaven to me. I love Ibadan. All right. So, uh, so let's go. So it's very, very important for us to uh, have mercy on single mothers. It's very important for us to love them. It's very important for us to care about them, care for them. It's very, very important for us to pray for them because of what they are going through. Single-handedly, they are training their children. It's not easy, all right? They have abandoned themselves. They are actually focusing on their kids, how to get better in life, how to make money to uh, pay the bills, how to send their kids to good schools, how to keep their kids healthy, and at the same time, to protect their children uh, from the danger. All right, now... Now, one guy wrote me today, and that's the reason I'm doing this video. I'm doing this video for the sake of that guy who wrote me, okay? For the past 11 years, this guy has been following me uh, every day, watching all my videos and stuff. And this guy made up his mind one time and said, I am going to do right. I'm going to follow this instruction. I'm going to follow what this guy is sharing. So he decided to pipe down. He started helping in the house. He started cooking, started cleaning. Uh, he started helping with taking the children to school. He started helping with picking up the kids from school. Uh, he started doing all this stuff. Okay? So gradually, 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 then finally he, he shut the door against his family. Extended family, no way. You can't come to my house anyhow. You can't talk to my wife anyhow. You can't intrude into my family any, anymore. Daddy, mommy, I love you. But stay over there. I will celebrate you over there. I will respect you over there. Right now that your young boy is married and I'm a responsible husband, a responsible father, and I want peace in my life. And the guy said it was like magic. That peace just came straight into the family. That the wife is cool. Everything is going right. 
The woman is respectful. They cook for each other. They spend time together and all that kind of stuff. They've been going on vacation. The children are feeling the love. The atmosphere is different. And that's exactly what you are... This is what you're going to experience if you follow the instructions. It's not, it's not magic. It's so simple. You can actually deal with any woman. You can live with any woman if you can follow the principles. Follow everything I'm teaching you. You will be at peace. All right? Like I said yesterday, women, they, they, they are not demanding for too much. They are not demanding for too much at all. They want transparency. Tell me. Let me know how much are you earning. Let me know how much the bill is. Let me know what we are spending money on. Let me know how heavy you are, how light you are. Let me be part of the system. I want to be part of your life. Carry me along. Love me, care about me, run things by me, talk to me, communicate with me. That's all they're asking for. Very simple. And all you need to do is just to sit down on the couch uh, with a bottle of chilled anythings or a glass of, you know, I stopped drinking anything. I stopped drinking anything. All right. Oh, that's all you need to do. Just put a Coke or probably Zobo in the class and then you talk to her and say, sweetheart, this is what I'm planning to do. She'll be like, oh, that's great. So what do you want me to do? I need you to do this. I need you to do that. And that's simple, very simple stuff I should do. All right. Sweetheart. I just got my salary and I think I need to actually send some money for the project we're doing in Africa and this is how much is going to be left and that's all. You know, accountability. Carrying the woman along. That woman will not, she will not hesitate to give you a paycheck. She will not withdraw nothing from you. She will not, she will not prevent you from touching things that belongs to her. Because now it's going to be our thing. Our money, our house, our life, our everything. All right? Because it's so simple. Just carry her along. That's it. Be transparent to her. Give her the right information at the right time. Don't let her be digging for information all around the place. Don't let her be digging for what is missing or what is not missing. Because when she's digging for something, she's going to see some things she's not supposed to see. And then she'll start reading minutes to all these things. Don't let her dig. Give it to her. Let her have it first hand. And you see how meaningful your life is going to be. Don't put your mother on her head. Don't put your sisters on her head. Don't. Don't put the sister on her, your sister on her head. Don't put your mother on her head. Don't let anybody in your family come to rule her. That's not the reason you married her. You didn't, you didn't marry her because you want her to be your slave. Or your family slave. No. And you didn't do her a favor by marrying her. All right? The two of you agreed to be together. So you have to give that respect. It's a respect. It's a respect thing. Respect her for agreeing to marry you. Like she's actually going to respect you for asking her to marry, for asking her to marry you. And she agreed to do it. So the two of you deserve to be respected. It's, it's a mutual thing. You know, I respect you. You respect me. I understand your office. You understand my office. I know you're my wife and I'm your husband, all right? And I love you and I care about you and everything that I own belongs to you. Whatever you, you know, you own belongs to me. It's our life together. It's not separate lives. It's not separate lives. It's our life together. So we live it together. You will see the kind of peace you will enjoy. You will enjoy so much peace that even you yourself will be scared. You enjoy too much of peace and you'll be so scared that what is going on? We are no longer fighting. We don't argue anymore. It's because of lack of respect. When you respect your wife, you will enjoy peace. Many of the men will say, my wife will not listen. My wife, she will never listen if you continue to treat her the same way you are treating her right now. Never listen. Never. And you come back and tell me later. She will never listen. You know, change your way. Change your approach to marriage. Change the way you deal and undo marriage. You will see a different wife. You will see a different husband. You will enjoy so much peace in your life that you will never believe it. They're telling you, put your wife first because she's you. Let her be number one on the priority list. Think about her all the time. Think about what she want to do, what she want to become. Ask her questions. Sit her down. Make love to her. Okay? Hold her hands. Look into her eyes. Okay? Smell her. See her all the time. Let her understand and let her know that I got you. 
I'm always here for you anytime, any day. All right. Even though there are some CC outside, and when let's say Tony Kawa and Nick Boro, but if me Obe, Timba the Obe, Gamu Kwa Obe, free, free, ni. You know what I'm You are the only one. It is you. You are the one that I'm living my life for. You are the only one that I believe in. I trust you, and you are my my wife, the mother of my children. You are the mother of my kids. You are the only one. Everything at home belongs to you. Whatever it is that I'm doing, I'm planning for you and I and our children. And that's it. And I'm just looking at them. I admire the beauty of God. All right? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Whatsoever. And, and then don't just say it. Make sure you are acting. <laughs> That's why I don't look free free. You have to look free free sometimes. That's all. You have to look free free. You oh know, if you come out free free, you have to look free You just, you are admiring the beauty of God, Danny. It is beauty of God, Nani. God, God didn't create them for us not to look. He created them for us to look. We got to look. We have to appreciate the beauties like we're looking at the eclipse. And say, oh God, you are beautiful. This is a beautiful thing you have don't know. We're looking at the solar system. Say, ah, solar system is beautiful. We're looking at the big bomb bomb. Say, ah, oh Lord. This is what to do. Look at the big bomb bomb. Ah, try go. Papa God, thank you. She goes out. Take what you have to do. Is it Is it God? <laughs> is it when, <laughs> it's, it's a therapy. It's a therapy when you see all those things. It's a therapy for your life. All right. The free free is good. Free free. When you do free free, free free, or oh, oh, free free, right. oh, don't stay glued to it. Don't stay glued to it. But just free free, like in moderation. In everything you do, do it moderately. In moderation, look free free. That's it. Look, it's real. <laughs> Yemi must have been touching some things. Yemi, you are touching some things. That's why you are actually touching kill of me. Or the touch you can you touch something already. Alright, so, so we have to appreciate this stuff. So we do appreciate it. And me, I'm guilty of it. I, I appreciate beautiful things. I appreciate beautiful women. I, be I appreciate handsome men. I just look and say, mm, that guy is handsome man. I look at the shoes, I look at the belt, I look at everything. So that's not a crime. It's not a crime for me looking free free. I, I do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So let's <laughs> confession time. So let's just leave that alone. So but the beauty of marriage is in you respecting your wife, your wife respecting you back and you know and you I, I appreciate that you know, you, 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 she is not your slave. Uh, the two of you agreed, you know, the, the two of you agreed to live your lives together. Too much of people, independent people with the mindset to live together. So you should give respect to her. Okay. Pastor Shola, I discussed with you the last time you were at the battle. We are separated already. Oh. Lisa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Message me after. Let's 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 chat a little bit, please. All right. So what am I saying is that so this young man is following me and then she started adopting all this stuff and putting it to work and stuff, and the marriage is going good. And every, let me tell you something. Women are actually very they are precious. All you need to do is just to Bring out the best in them. That's all you need to do. Bring out the best in them. The Yoruba people will say, no, they do. No more yawa, which means a happy soul. We actually produce a happy life. A happy soul. When your wife is happy, you know, there's no limit to what she could do. A woman will do anything. Anything. I'm telling you. Anything. You know, the moment they are happy. When they are happy, they do anything. They do anything. Once they are happy, I'm telling you, once they are happy, they'll do anything for you. Just keep them happy. Just keep them happy. All right? Just keep them happy. That's your job. You, see? you, you, have to, you, can't, you can't make them happy, but you just keep them happy. You know, don't destroy their joy. Don't mess their joy up. Just let them continue to be happy the way they are happy. Happiness is not your responsibility as a man. 
but it's possible for you to destroy the joy and the happiness that they are bringing into the marriage. Don't do it. All right? Respect them. You will find out that they are the most beautiful, the most precious gift from God. I'm telling you. The most precious gift from God. All right? So this young man, you know, he has been applying all this stuff and the marriage started changing. He's not having fun. He'll be going on vacation and doing all kinds of stuff. But there is something that is still missing. There is something. There is something that is still missing that must be introduced to the system. And that is being freaky. Freaky, freaky. Freaky, freaky is the logo of men. Men love freaky, freaky. When you are freaky, you are, you are the apple of the eyes of a man. All right? When you are freaky. I don't care if you're a bishop. I don't care if you're a deeper light pastor. You see, men, they love their wives to be freaky. To be freaky. So, if you cannot be freaky, freaky, it's possible for you to lose some things and you'll be missing a lot of stuff. Men, they love the Asheo vibe. Olosho vibe. You have to put it there. You have the Olosho die. At the Omoto da die. Olosho vibe. Kikere. At Omoto da. Omoto da kikere. You put the combination together. You have to be balanced. You cannot always be spirit spirit. You have to live a regular life also. Alright? You have to live regular. So if you if you think that, okay, you just want to be carrying Bible and be doing and be, oh mama, what about that? Kenu kakiri. You'll be wearing the Kenu shoe all around the place and be putting beret. And all kinds of stuff. Oh, we're freaky. Father, in the name of Jesus, let me enjoy this love making in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are going to do missionary, that you is the only one that you approve Jesus. Jesus, I know is only missionary. My husband is hearing right now. It is only missionary that God approves. So any other thing you will go to hell. If you are not that kind of a person that you know that you have to have a lotion vibe. Okay, you have a lotion vibe in the stuff. You are ready to keep marriage. You can't keep marriage if you don't have a lotion vibe. Do you know why your husband is going to going outside? Your husband is running outside because he's looking for the lotion vibe. I'm telling you, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how good you may be. It doesn't matter how easy going you are. The lotion vibe must always appear in your life. You must get to that lotion vibe whereby you just wear some nice skimpy skimpy stuff. In the house to just blow up the fuse of your husband sometimes. Okay? A lot of different stuff. Men, we go by what we see. Alright? What we what you're showing us is what we want to stay glued to. We stay glued to it. Alright? So, so you have to understand that fact. That there must be a part of you that is olosho. And you must be ready to be the side chick of your husband. Whatever it is that your husband is looking outside, you must bring it home. Bring that thing on. Don't say, Jesus, me, Jesus, me, Jesus, me. Leave Jesus alone. Jesus has given you marriage to work on. It's a work. It's a full-time job. The angels will not come and do it for you. Holy Spirit will not come and do it for you. You will be the one to do it yourself. He created the arch. He created the penis and the vagina. The whole thing is supposed to be at work. You're supposed to use it. He gave it to you to use it to pleasure your husband, to pleasure your wife. You don't actually come here and now use your spirituality to overshadow your responsibility as a wife. Huh? I'm preaching. <laughs> oh my, let me go no pastoral ministry, baby. <laughs> They will write me a letter and say, you are no longer a pastor. Let us, let's remove the title from you. <laughs> and I, will, <laughs> I will just, I will just hand it over. JJ means that I want to remove it before, before. They must, they must remove me from the association of pastors. <laughs> Even me myself will vote. I will vote to be removed. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, so you see, you see that if, if I'm lying, if I'm lying here, all of these men will not be supporting it. I know what I'm talking about. I'm so real. I'm a very real guy. I don't like lying. I, I, I don't like lying. I, I like to be truthful. You know, I, I don't I don't do lies, lies or whatever. 
You see, that's what I'm saying. You cannot be putting on makeup and be dressing the way you are dressing and looking all sweet and looking all sexy and can't perform. Only perform. Who can do me? Aha. I can preach. If I preach towards that level, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, remove that to me. Who can find? You, you see yourself in the mirror. Take pictures and put it on social media. You see everybody saying, Mama, you fine. Mama, you fine. You why not? This is the same you. This is the same you that we now get into the bed. You now, you don't, you can't do nothing. Open door, open deck, on your leg manager. God has given unto you. Oh, Lelo, you can't use it. Open the body, Nikos engine. Body with that engine. That, that's, that's something that's actually very killing. I'm telling you, it's very frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. Let the men, men, is it frustrating or not? You will see. Wait, oh, they, will, they will answer. Men, is it frustrating or not when your wife looks so delicious and fantastic but can't perform? Can't perform nothing. You will see. Am I right or am I wrong? This is not frustrating. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. You have all the body, everything. All the body, everything that you know a man is looking at and say, ah, oh my need book equipment, only engine, only instrument, only book boy. But only perform. See? Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Jesus Christ is good. Oh, Jesus Christ is good. I'm talking to you right now. I'm going to Jesus Christ. Oh, no, okay. helicopter. I will, I will just be angry, I will just walk away. My bill is on. You know what I'm saying? That's the stuff I'm talking about. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. You know, God cannot just give you all this stuff. God, God can give you all this stuff and you can't use it. You cannot use it. You don't know how to use these things. And every time we see you, do you think we're just admiring picture? You go for a picture that hasn't performed. It's not about picture. When you take, you took picture, you look so good in picture, and at the end of the day, you can't perform nothing. Can't perform anything. I'll be no jarry. I'm preaching to women today. I'll preach to men later. I'll preach to the men later. Men, they, they bribed me already. The men already bribed me. They called me behind and they spoke to me. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> See what they point the finger, man too, man too, preach the man, preach the man. We are preaching to you now. We are preaching to you right now. Okay, we are preaching to you. And, and, and later down the road, you'll be saying, "Oh, the bad guys are collecting our husband. The bad guys, you too, be bad. If the bad guys are collecting husband, go and do investigation. Why, why are the bad guys collecting our husband? Let me to put myself there. Let me to put myself there." I actually be able to, <laughs> to, to to take anybody's husband too. Okay? Especially you keep your own husband. So, what am I saying? What am I saying is that, okay? Now, this guy has been applying all the principles and stuff and everything is working for him. But now, he, he, he's kind of like, a little, there's a little challenge in there right now. The woman is not ready to rock the mic. Don't want to rock the mic. All right? And, and some of you sisters there, you sing praise and worship in church. You carry microphone in your hand and say, Hallelujah, glory to God, Almighty God, Hallowed be. Somebody lift your hands up and worship Jesus. Oh my God, Hallelujah. He is the one. You know how to rock the microphone when you go to church? Rock the mic at home. That's what the man is asking for. Rock the mic at home. The same mic you are holding in the church. All right? Hold the mic at home and rock it. Speak to it. Basoro bani bai fani bolun. Oh, you guys want them to to remove me from pastoral service? Oh my, let me call pastoral service, baby. And you people they like cause because they born on that. You can't listen one time. You can't listen one time. Am I born on that? I want you guys to be listening. Listen one time. When we talk, do you listen? Do we have to be saying this like two hundred times before you guys will listen? You need to rock the mic. Rock the mic. 
Okay? So, now, some of these women, the problem with them is the religion is messing you guys up. It is messing you guys up. The religion thing is messing you up. Okay? So, the reason with all stuff is that you believe that Jesus is watching. Jesus is looking at us, oh, we can't do this, you know, if we do it, we go to hell, oh, Jesus is looking. Jesus is not looking. Jesus already gave it to you as a gift for you to enjoy. Do the microphone, check, check. Hello, testing, one, two, three. Die, find it below. Hello, testing, two, two. What a tutorial. Let me go. Let me go and walk. It's, it's almost 12 o'clock. <laughs> Let me go and walk. I don't want to be here. You guys are bad people. You guys are pushing me so that they will fire me from pastor hour. You guys are pushing me. I know you guys. You guys are the one pushing me here. I'm telling you. I, I'm thinking there is a devil. Devil is in this place. There is a devil around here. That, and you guys are the devils that are pushing me. <laughs> The view is increasing. The viewers are now increasing now. Automatically, they must be sharing it on the pastor's network. They are calling all the pastors right now. They are calling all the pastors right now to come and see their boy. You see, oh, look at your boy is scan now. You know, see, and they won't know that it's uncommon that he's telling me to say lick it like lollipop. Oh. It is uncommon that he's saying lick it like lollipop. I'm not the one that is giving it name. So now you are the one that is saying lick it like lollipop. All right. So these. The issue here right now is that, you know, a lot <laughs> Oh, the comment section won't let me do anything. The comment, this comment section is too crazy. I don't understand these people. <laughs> this, com this comment section is too bad. I don't understand what to say anymore. I don't know what to say. <laughs> You, you guys are too kana. I'm a brutal everybody. Don't worry, network. I'm a brutal everybody. I'm telling you. And now you guys will be the one to go and report me. All right, you'll be the one reporting me. <laughs> so what am I saying is that, hey, bite it, bite the tip like cucumber. <laughs> Scrum Suji, Scrum Suji, are you seeing your people? <laughs> Come see, are you seeing your people now? <laughs> I don't darrow. I don't darrow for here. I don't understand what I want to do for here now. Hope I don't have a cancelling station right now because it seems like some people are calling me on. Eh? Somebody they call me on. Okay, so what am I saying? <laughs> All right, what am I saying is that, you see, the guy is actually doing his best right now to be the best of the best husband ever. The best of the best husband ever. All right, he's now cooking in the house. He's now cleaning the house. He's now doing the necessary stuff that needs to be done and doing everything. But, the problem now is that it's a little difficult now for him to get the kind of uh, good boy treat. The good boy treat is not getting it, and and it's not supposed to be a treat like that. It's supposed to be your 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 responsibility as a wife, your responsibility as a wife to do to your husband. We all need to understand. How do you want it? How do you like it? What do you want me to do? And that's what we keep married together. When we know the do's and the don'ts, when you know how they want it done, then you do it. Okay? How to get it done. Some women will never allow their husband to put them, to put his mouth 
on the G stuff. Licking the plates is something that some women will never agree to. The man is dying to do it. The man want to do it, but he's dying to do it. He's dying to do it, but at the end of the day, the woman will say, my Jesus, my Jesus. My Jesus, my Jesus. All right? And, and, and it's, I don't understand. You know, how, how good do you think it is that your husband will put his finger inside like this, put it inside like that, to pleasure you and bring it out and look at it and just and just lick it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. It's balanced. The salt is not too much. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little pepper inside too. That's good. Did you put Maggie inside this thing? There is a little Maggie inside those. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just a, it, it's always good. It, it, it's, it's a level of connection. It's a level of connection that, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, the, the two of you are so free, you know, with each other that you can, you know, do so much together. As in, like, he is able. Uh, somebody says, No, no, man, no. Look at this person. Mm. Look at this person. Look at this person. He says, No, no. Man. You see, at the end of the day, you, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a level of connection. That will make that will make him to be able to do such a thing like that to you. But if you feel you are not clean, you feel you are not clean, you feel you are nasty, you feel like that place is not the kind of place that anybody could put their nose, then you'll be closing your leg and say, it's not normal, it's not normal, it's not good, it's not good, and stop. Ah, it is good. People have been saving their marriage with it for a long time. People have been saving their marriage with it for a long time. Lord Barry, Lord, and when you go and ask, Lord Barry, they have been saving their home with it for a long time. I'm telling you, there are some men, they don't have erection. No erection, no nothing. Then they, then they leak plate like crazy. Then they leak plate like crazy. I'm telling you. Uh, oh no, I don't know about the bad one, but I don't want him on Google. I don't do that one, but I don't do it. It's not English. It is a no, no, 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 Some of you will be asking me now, show me from the Bible. Like I said, to say everything is written in the Bible. You'll be asking me, show me from the Bible. Like I said, to say, Mercedes Benz is inside the Bible. Like I said, to say, there is iPhone in the Bible and you're using it. And you're driving a BMW like BMW is written in the Bible. Give me the Bible. Like I said, to say everything is written there. Amala is in the Bible. And you're chopping Amala. Alright? Amala, Amala is there. You're chopping Amala. I don't understand you guys for real. It's sometimes I, I just think as ah, what if it what if it really John Cole go in your below your head? No they no they no they walk again. No they walk again. No they walk again. Some men are just points are like you know. <laughs> Your husband don't know anything they do. I don't know it. I don't know. Your husband don't know anything they do. do. That's why they post a live up on there. You know what I'm saying? All right. Some women won't allow that to happen, and a lot of men are dying. They want to do it. At the end of the day, they're gonna take it outside. They're gonna go do it outside. They're gonna go and do it outside. There's somebody. There's somebody that's waiting for them, opening a leg. And giving it to them on a platter of gold and say, oh boy, chop as you as you like. It is a buffet. Eat it as you want. Whatever you want to eat, eat it. You don't know what goes on, what's going on in the mind of a lot of men. You don't understand. You don't understand what's going on in the heart of in the mind of a lot of men. Some people are so so into sex that they can do anything. And that's even simple. Have you seen people licking in us? You will see people licking in us, you will, you will freeze. And, and, and if that's what they want, you know, talk about it. Sit down and talk about it. And, and for men, for a lot of men, they want the blowjob. They want the blowjob. I, I actually shared it with you guys some times ago. Uh, I went for a meeting, uh, one redeemed church. And I don't know why. Redeemed churches always invite me, even though I use them as an example. They will still invite me to come. You know, come and talk to their church members and stuff. So, <laughs> I'm a bad person. So, when, when I got to the place and I started talking, and the pastor got a little mad, and the pastor jumped up, and she, he came to collect my microphone from me. Uh, because I started talking about oral sex. 
And the whole church members stood up and said, Lie, lie, give the microphone back and apologize. So the man eventually did it and then apologized, gave me microphone back and stuff. So I decided I wanted to bust this bubble. I decided I wanted to bust this bubble because I don't like I don't like people just deceiving people. I, I love to speak the truth. I love the truth. All right. So I asked the question, I said, how many of you men here love blue job and you've been doing it? Everybody in the church said, hoo, 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 hoo. I look at the face of the guy. So when we are talking, we know what we are saying. You might not. You come to church and convert all these people to hypocrites. You, you convert them to Dundee United with all your teaching. Me, I know what they do at home. I know what they do when, they are, when nobody's there. And the true, the real person, if a person is real, you are always real to yourself when you're at home. What you do at home is your is you. That's you. That's your real character at home. He said, what you do in the church is not your real character. It's not you. You are only pretending to look good at the church because you know your pastor will say something. Your pastor will use you to preach eventually and stuff like that. So you want to be in your best behavior. I don't want him to see me at anything. But when you go home, what you do at home, that's really you. And that's exactly what God is going to judge. And that's what God is going to judge. God is not going to judge this, your hypocrisy in church. No, he's not going to judge it. So I turned around and I said, how many of you ladies want your plate to be leaked? All of them said, yeah! Mommy Pastor was about to say, yeah! He just, she just looked and said, mm. Mommy Pastor too wants that plate leaked. Okay? She wanted to shout, but <laughs> she had to hold herself together. <laughs> this, this pastor will not be angry and stuff like that and everything. And all kinds of stuff. You see? And the, and, the, and, the, and the truth is that, you see, this pastor here, he loves sex so much because they have six children. They have six kids. And those kids popping from heaven, are they dropping down from heaven or what? The guy's been busy. He's been busy doing a lot of different stuff and stuff. And, and that's it right there. But, but we would rather be hypocrites and be, and be funny, acting movie in church, you know, pretending to be somebody we are not. Instead of we telling the truth and be able to now do whatever it is that we want to do with ease and do it in a decent way. And then we always tell everybody this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. Everything is wrong. Everything to us is wrong. We interpret Bible anyhow we like it. And we put people under lock and key. We, we put them in, in, in a cage. Many people are not enjoying their sexuality. They don't enjoy nothing. They just all because they want to be mommy pastor, mommy geo, and, and then holy ghost fire. They did no yarning, no, no pint, no nothing. They deprive themselves of all the enjoyment they're supposed to. And a lot of them are getting divorced now because the men are leaving them for girls who understand that I need to satisfy my husband. The ladies are the girls are leaving. Those girls are the ones taking their husbands. Those are they're, they're, they're taking their husbands. That's what it is. And I'm telling you, you don't understand Jack. You're saying, I don't like what I says. I don't believe what I says is right. I think it is wrong. Continue. Continue saying you don't believe it. All right? You say a lot of men are leaving the homes. They are leaving homes and going outside. Especially here in America, you don't see a lot of men at home anymore because Nigerian women refuse to upgrade. They refuse to upgrade. They have been tied down with this culture and the religion and all kinds of stuff. And they couldn't keep their home together. Oh, I've been good. I don't cheat on him. I'm very respectful. And the man is complaining. Rock the mic. Rock the mic. Rock the mic. Come on, rock the mic. Rock this mic. Rock this mic. And when, when Christians, when they divorce, when Christians divorce, they will never say it's because of sex. They will, they will, they will lie on something else. Because they want to be spiritually correct or religiously correct, they will now say, oh, it is because she's not submissive. Oh, because she's not transparent. Oh, she's arrogant. That's not the case. The case is that they are not sexually satisfied. They are not. And somebody else is going to do it for them. They're going to do it for them. If you have been married for 40 years, this is not what we are talking about. We are not talking about you. You are, you are actually in a different generation. You are not in this generation. Man. 40 years of marriage, you are not in this generation. Man. You leave that one alone. If you want to actually know the truth, madam, you go and ask your son. Ask your son, what do you like? Do you like your microphone to be checked? You, you, you will tell you, tell you. Say, mommy, my microphone is active. Must be checked. I need someone to say, microphone check, check. 
Your son is not going to tell you because you are the mother anyway. Won't tell you. But your son will tell you if he wants to tell you the truth. He has been enjoying microphone check check. All right. There is no man in this generation that is not enjoying it. You know they want it. They go out to get it. The guy that got killed in in Bisonet, he only went there to enjoy blowjob. Then he found out the guy that wants to give him blowjob is not a woman. He's a man. He's a man. He's a man. You know something? And then that was where the problem started from. And then he wanted his money back and the guy shot him. And the guy shot him. And he died. And, and I've, I've told you guys the story of one woman, you know, uh, that wanted to divorce the husband. And it's the same redeemed touch. I uh, went to divorce the husband, and the husband actually allowed her to say, you can go. She was in a relationship for over, I don't know, the husband was diagnosed with high blood pressure, and they started taking medication, and then he couldn't get direction. And for seven years, the woman stayed with him. And after seven years, the woman told, told herself, I think I got to go. And the man said, you have tried. You can leave. And that was when they came across me. And the woman said, let's give it a shot with Dr. Shola. And they invited me to their house. I took my laptop there. And I had, you know, I have this, my small projector. I put it on the wall. And I said, sir. So I said, have you heard about oral sex? He said, yes. He said, but that is biblically wrong. I said, sir, forget about that. I said, do you love your wife? Say yes. Do you want to keep your home? He said, yes. I said, good. I'm going to teach you how to do this. And then you guys try it. I come back and tell me if at the end of the day, she won't like it. And I taught them how to do this stuff. Three days after, the woman called me and said, Pastor Shola, ah, I like this one better. I came three times. This one is better than even the sex itself. I sold to them a, a vibrator. I sold them a rabbit, right, for the man to use on the wife. Right now, and that was like almost 11 or 12 years ago, and they are still married to today. Till today, they are still married to today. Still married to today. And they're enjoying their life, enjoying their marriage right now. He now knows how to please his wife, and everything is going on right. But we, we are too religious to see the gift that God has given unto us. We always want to be one way directional. Oh, this is like, oh, our father did it like this. Our father's father did this. Come forget about your father's father. They don't know Jack. Your father's father don't know Jack. A three-year-old boy today, no more than your grandfather. Well, your grandfather don't know nothing. A two-year-old kid of today, no more than your great-grandfather. All right? If you want to know, go go to three-year-old and ask them questions. They will tell you. You will understand. All this stuff that we tell, because somebody is old doesn't mean, mean that they are brilliant. Somebody is old doesn't mean they are wise. They don't know Jack. They only know what they know in those days. That's what they know in those days. They don't know nothing. Now today, three-year-old kids know more than a 20, 50-year-old man. They're talking about this. We want to rock marriage for real? You got to rock it well. You got to rock marriage well and beautifully the way you should rock it. Rock marriage. All right? So there's decency in everything. We have to actually have that decency. All right? It's not locking people down, but you have to be decent. Be decent with whatever it is that you want to do in life. Be decent about it. One stupid pastor was saying, missionary is the only one approved by God. I said, where did you get that from? Where? Is the Holy Spirit that told you? Where did he tell you that? When? Did God say that to you? You see, what we do with God is that we always make Holy Spirit as a kind of a control. That whenever we mention Holy Spirit, everybody will start shaking. Everybody will start shaking. Everybody will start shaking. The days are gone. Everybody, is, everybody, we all have Holy Spirit in us. We, we do. So if Holy Spirit is talking to you, he's talking to you. Holy Spirit is talking to me too. You're looking to me too. You need to understand that. Okay? So this guy is having challenge in that stuff and is concerned. I'm not, I want a freaky wife, but I'm not getting it. I got married to a church girl, but she's not freaky. But let me tell you something. Everybody, we all, we have that freakiness in us. Something or someone tames her. For her to come out and step out from her shells to become that freaky freaky, a training is important. Nigerian women, they go by the Bible. Pastor said, pastor said, pastor said, pastor said. That's all they live their life with. That's why they give all their money to pastor. They cook for pastor. They buy boots and shoes for pastor. Buy suit for pastor. Give pastor money. Do all manners of things and all kinds of stuff. Because pastor is the ultimate to Nigerian women. 
They can't have sex with their husband without asking pastor. They can't buy something for their husband without asking pastor. They cannot travel without asking pastor. When they come back, pastor will be the first they call. Everything is all about pastor, pastor, pastor. So they tamed them. They tamed them. And this is affecting Nigerian men and some Nigerian women too. There are some Nigerian women that are freaky, but their husbands are not. Their husband is the shogu shogu, you know the shogu shogu kind of man that looks like a guton. They don't be going kru, 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 kru. because they were trained by women. They are trained by women to be CC men. They be doing shogu 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 shogu. They say it's my temperament. Shut up and be a man. Shut up and be a man. And be this lion that your husband, your wife wants you to be. Your wife is expecting you to tear her clothes and penetrate. And be able to be freaky with this stuff. Your wife is expecting you to lick the place like a no man's business. Your wife is expecting you to roar like a lion and say, Oh, who's your daddy? Who is your daddy? That's what she wants. Oh, she be the baba be the that dog in the door of the dinner in your day. Oh, my she goes, 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 can't give you a Let me go. Let me get out. Let me get out of here. I go see. I was saying bad things today. I was saying some bad things. I don't come over this place. <laughs> if, <laughs> if I don't come over this place, I don't know. Your wife is expecting you to slap a bomb on. Pah! Say, who's your daddy? She's expecting you to carry her and put her on the stove. Well, she's expecting you to cook on not belly bed. Not belly bed, sorry, couch. Your wife is expecting you to be driving on the street and just pull over for no reason. And just jump in the back seat and be spontaneous. That's what your wife is expecting you to do. No, you will not do it. Mama loves your good, 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 Let me leave you guys alone, Joe. You guys, you guys are not. You guys are not ginger anyway. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? See, somebody said that slap is for me. You see, she want to be slapped in the bumbo. See, my sister said, slap her in the bumbo. I said, who's your daddy? You know what I'm saying? That's okay. Do it anywhere. Do it anywhere. <laughs> you know, so so the, the issue, thank you very much. Uh, I am Amy. You know, and, 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 and the issue is that we got to put effort into this stuff. We got to put effort into this stuff. All right, it's not just it's not just Jesus, 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 Jesus. Actually, he has given you the opportunity. He has given you opportunity to actually have a very wonderful man, a very wonderful wife. You know, you you got to deal with it. You got to do what is necessary to do. You know, do what is good to do. You know, do what is necessary to do. It's very, very important. All right, don't just don't just be there and just be this super religious person, and then you end up going to hell. It, it will be very painful. If you end up going to hell, it will be very painful with all of this uh, holier than thou attitude that you have. And some people don't understand the meaning of holier than thou. The way you carry yourself like holy Mary, that's a sin. It's a sin. You are not righteous. You can never be righteous. You can't be holy. You can never be holy. Stop carrying yourself like you're holy. You are not, ma, ma, sorry. You are not holy. And you are not righteous. It is the righteousness of Christ that all of us are boasting with. It is not your righteousness. All this holier than that attitude. All this, we don't do this. He don't do that. He don't do this. He don't do that. That's, that's holier than that attitude. It is not by your righteousness that you're going to make it. It is not your own. Even all your righteousness is like a filthy rag before God. Go and realize that. All of those are, I don't do this, I don't do this, trying to act like I do Baba Deboye stuff. It will send you to hell. You go to hell fire. You're buying the same, uh, the same hat, like Baba Deboye. You're buying a shoe. You go to hell. It's a hell fire. You're a copycat 
Oh, the character titi. You don't have any. You don't have any nature of your own. You're a copy, copy, copy person. A copy, copy person. Go to hell. I'm just the one telling you. Better act like yourself. Better act just be real. Be original. You instead of acting like somebody else. Tara Jema, I'm a fool around him because of because of his Christianity. Any pang. I will make my way. I will allow us to come back in the second, 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 copy, second, copy second, 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 copy second, 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 copy second, 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 copy second, 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 created you like that second, created you like that to be you not to be like another person not to be like another person be you you know your own temperament you know your attitude that's what you do God created you like that to use you like that he didn't, he didn't create you like that to change you no, he, he's not interested in changing you. He wants you to act like you. And that's why I love a lot of people on my network here. You guys are just you. You guys are just you. You're just you. Time is going. Enjoy your life now. Enjoy it. If you don't, you're going to die and regret. And I don't want you to regret it. There are not, there's nothing tying anybody down from enjoying in as much that is your legal wife. Your legal wife, enjoy your legal wife. Enjoy your legal husband. So, men, men always want you to, they always want you, women, to be freaky. They want women to be freaky. Once, when you're freaky, you know, it, it's always very interesting. The marriage is gonna be working. Is it supposed to be nice that you wear some skimpy stuff it is not every time you have to be angry. It's not every time you're always angry, 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 angry all the time. You'll be thinking of, oh, he cheated 20 years ago. Oh, he insulted me 10 years ago. And you're still carrying that anger till today. When will you forgive and forget and move on to enjoy the moment? When? When will you enjoy the moment? You should enjoy the moment. It's important to enjoy the moment. It's very important. All right? To enjoy the moment. It's very important. When? When will you do that? On time. Time is going. It's going. Don't let... Well, don't let our... Let's say social show. Don't let them take your husband. Put a little bit more effort into your sexuality. Put a little bit of effort into the display. The way you serve it on the bed, change it. Change the way you serve it. Serve it nice and clean and hot and tasty. Serve it clean. Serve, it, serve that food beautifully. Let him enjoy it. Let him enjoy it. Let him continue to long to have you, to want to touch you, to want to hold you. Let him enjoy every moment, every moment of it. Enjoy. Be clean. Take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself. Don't be this person's way. Hey, pardon. Hey, pardon. Hey, daddy, if I'm sure. Hey, pardon. Pardon for me. You want to pardon me? Pardon for me. You want to pardon me? Say more with the marriage and you're lost on it. Say more on this thing. Oh, 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 boss, all that. I can't see no bullet. I am not a feeling good about myself. If you are not feeling good about yourself, go and do something about it. Go here, panaka, kiri, and do. Go do the panaka, 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 kiri, panaka, 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 kiri. Me only be too much. I say, be too much because me only move, move, move. Man, panaka, see. I have to see what I want to do. Move, move, go do more. See, panaka, 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 Me only run in Oku. Only 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 me only run in up to down the street. <laughs> All right. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. It's almost five minutes to twelve. I gotta. 
How <laughs> places I want to go? How <laughs> places I gotta go? How places I gotta go? How many places I gotta go? I, I gotta go. I'm Pano called Panoni. Pano be bo. Well, then Pano. So, guys, uh, four minutes for me to go. Please put your thought into this thing. Sign up for sex uh, therapy. Learn from your co workers. Men, be open. Men, be open. Be open. Women, too, they want to enjoy sex with you. Uh, they need you to be open. When they bring a star, don't be saying, Talu Koya, have you been sleeping with people? No, they have not been sleeping with people. They want to enjoy sex with you. All right? <clears throat> they want to enjoy sex with you. So, be open. Men, be open to learn new things. Not just only missionary, missionary. And men, please take a bath. Take a shower. Take a shower. Brush your teeth before you come to bed. Brush your teeth and take a shower. Change your, change your boxers before you come to bed. All right? You want them to actually rub the microphone. Let the microphone be clean. Don't let it be, don't let it be nasty. All right? Don't let your microphone be smelly and funky. All right? Wash the microphone very well. Wash everything very well. You know, don't force your wife to be putting her mouth on a stupid, funky, funky uh, sack. All right? Let, let the place be inviting. Let it smell good also. So if you want it, good. If, you, if your wife doesn't want it, you can't force her to want it. If she is not interested, you cannot force your wife to want it. Please. You see, marriage <clears throat> is respect. You need to respect her nature. Sometimes some women don't just want it. They just don't want to do it. And the moment you communicate it and they're telling you, I'm not comfortable with it, just, just knock it out. Find something else to connect with, probably kissing, uh, you know, sucking the nipples and doing all manners of other things. But when it comes to that one, she's not comfortable with it, just let it go. Don't force your wife to do whatever it is that she's not actually connecting to. And even you yourself as a man, if you're not that person who loves to actually lick the plate, you know, your wife shouldn't force you to do it. You know, don't force you to do it. So, take control of that part of it. And let's be uh, decent in our lives. Let's be, let's be very decent in our lives. Whatever you know that is going to keep your marriage together, do it. If you have the power to do it. If you don't have the power to do it, you don't have to force yourself to do it. Alright? But God is not looking down on you, trying to see, are you pleasing your husband or are you pleasing your wife or not? That's not what God is doing. Okay? So, God has given you that wife, that husband, you know, take care of them, do whatever is necessary to do, and make sure hygiene is important. Hygiene is important. As a woman, when you remove your underwear, there must not be odor coming from there. Men, when you remove your boxer, there must not be odor coming from there. Jump in the shower, take a bath. Wash every part of your body that the mouth of your wife will touch, the mouth of your husband will touch. Keep it fresh and clean. Shave. Some people say, oh, black people don't shave. You start shaving. It's good for you to shave. Shave. All right? When you shave, you'll be clean and you look good and smell good. You know, there is a night oil that you put on the pillow. Put that night oil on the pillow. Let the man enjoy it. Let the man enjoy the aroma. You know, you know connect to candles. There are candles that you put in the bathroom. That makes the two of you go to the bathroom and take a bath and the smell, the aroma of the of the of the candle, the smell of the candle will penetrate you. And then, you know, it's gonna make it sexy. And the atmosphere is gonna be beautiful. I'm telling you. And then you dim the light down just a little bit. Turn the light down low. You turn the light down low. All right. Keep it on the point where you could see a little bit. All right. Create that atmosphere. To make love the way it's supposed to be. 
start from kissing, touching, licking the hair, you know, the neck, and all kinds of stuff. And go all the way down gradually everywhere. You just, you know what I'm saying? Just go all the way down till you get to the gate of Jerusalem. And then you stay in the gate of Jerusalem for some time. Knock the first one out. Let her shake. And let her say, ha, ha. and after she's done shaking and all kinds of stuff, now your job is easy. Now, she already gotten out to that point, and you can now stand up. And then flip up and let her do the same thing with you. And then by the time you do the same thing with you, you'll find out your penis is going to be so hard because blood will flow down there. Don't be this two seconds noodle kind of person. Don't be two seconds noodle kind of person that is just jump in bed and straight to sex. The four places, four place is important. That is what we actually ginger you. That's what will wake your body up. Your body is not yet awake. But by the time you do all of this stuff, you see blood flowing down there and then partial erection will be totally forgotten. It's going to be strong erection. You know, strong erection that will actually be able to rock the stuff and get it done. And at that point in time, and at that point in time, you'll find that you have enough energy to go. Enough energy to go, 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 go. Don't just sleep on top of your wife. Sometimes just get up Pull out to the tip of the bed. You stand up. Do the wheelbarrow. Put our two shoulders, I mean, our two legs on your shoulders. And then that is actually going to give you a little bit of power to be able to do the job well. At the end of the day, it's going to take some time for you. Don't be selfish. Don't just say, I just want to come. I just want to come. Hold it. Let it go back. When it goes back, it's going to take some time to come back again. All right? So that time, you'll be able to do the servicing the way you're supposed to do it. And then you flip over, you doggy star which is good. And I'm telling you, you'll enjoy it. And then, and then there is the reverse doggy. There's the reverse doggy that they do now. The reverse doggy is sweet. you never believe it. The reverse doggy is so, so good that you penetrate so deep. Ah! Ooh la la. <laughs> Time is gone. I gotta go. <laughs> he said, what did I walk into? <laughs> You walk into Jerusalem. <laughs> All right. So we're going to leave you guys in. <laughs> say, I don't learn. You don't, you don't learn. Where, where. You know what I'm saying? So all this stuff, you know, it's so good. It's all good, and it will keep your relationship fresh. It's gonna keep you spiced up, and and your your wife will be expecting, you know, we expecting you. Know, what what's gonna happen next time? What's gonna happen next time? What's gonna happen next time? You, you carry your wife travel here, be travel here, be long as be be travel here, be kido de sala here. You know, you carry on travel here straight. I have hope as Zola is talking about now. Who to use it for? Remain now. <laughs> yeah, the one, the person you use it for is about to come in your inbox. Just watch out in your inbox. You'll see the person. The person is coming in your inbox now. As I'm talking right now, that person is coming in your inbox. You'll soon see it. All right. You go pass beyond seven. I tell you, for real. For real, you'll be speaking in tongues you'll never believe yourself. All right, I got to go. And final thing I wanted to do is, uh, in all this stuff, always make sure you reference God. Always make sure you serve God, worship Him. And keep it gospel all the time. Make sure that you serve God. Preach to other people without talking. Yeah, let your character speak. Be real. Be yourself. Don't pretend to be another person because that's actually going to contradict uh, the mind of God for your life. God wants to use you the way you are and be the best version of yourself. Touch lives. Change the world. Keep your marriage together. If you're a single mother, get ready for a new relationship. If you're a single sister, get married for your home. You are actually a widow or widower. Get ready for a new marriage and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Have a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. I'll see you guys later down the road and I love you guys big time. I love you guys and stay blessed. All right, bye.
Bye-bye, guys.